Welcome to the basic looping guide featuring the shack. In this guide, I'll be covering how to properly loop the shack as well as what your general decision making should be. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video once I jump through this window here. So right here, I'll point out what your decision making should be based on the killer's actions. So first of all, if the killer rotates to your right side, you should run to the left side. If the killer rotates to, rotates to the left side, you should rotate to the right. Never double back over the window as this will cause you to slow bolt and it'll be easy for the killer to get a free hit off. If the killer sets through the window, you run to whichever side has the closest door opening at the time. Always remember to keep track of the killer's movement by using the window. Therefore, you should never be looping on the other side of the shack. You want to know the killer's position, not guess it. In general, you want to be looping from the inside, not the outside of the shack. And this gives you an approximately 45 degree angle on the window, so you always fast vault. You can loop from the other side of the shack to the inside, but you have to sacrifice extra steps to get a good angle on the window, so you won't end up slow vaulting. If you really want to loop from the outside, use objects close to the window to create a longer loop. Okay, so now that I have explained the theory, I want to move on to some practical examples. Okay, so in the first example, you can see the killer chasing me. I always make sure to look behind myself before I look through a window to check that the killer doesn't mind game me. If that's true, so we just run through the closest door and we're gonna do the window again because we see he follows through. He tries to mind game by running to the side of the shack. We run through the other side, like here, sorry. And we loop through the window again and then the entity block comes up and you have to go away at this point. Okay, so this next example is all about the mind games. So you can see I look behind myself and I see the killer does not follow through so there's no reason to walk through the window. I would have taken a free hit if I'd done that. So as you can see I always track the killer through the window knowing exactly where he is and what he does. So I can see he follows through. I run through here and by the way this pallet over here is your safety pallet. Do not knock this down unless you fuck up the loop. And basically the loop is one he puts down a trap and I try and BM it bit. Okay, so this is how you loop from the outside and get the, like a 9 degrees angle on the windows so you want a uh, slow bolt. You basically just like do like a little turn. Alright, so here's an example of me looping from the outside of the shack to uh, the inside of the shack using uh, objects around uh, the shack. So you can see here I run through the shack. I then uh, use this loop with the generator. Um, so basically you can see here the killer, either way he goes I can just run around and I can just basically run back to the window which I do here. So the killer steps through the window, I run back to the loop again with the pallet and the generator and I hesitate a little bit here so I actually fuck up and I'm forced to drop the pallet but uh, we do some mind games with the killer here, back and forth and we run back to the loop and there you go, we get the entity block and that's basically Sometimes you also end up getting uh, longer loops, like in this one, where you can actually waste a lot of time. It's also really important to notice that you have to like basically curve around these objects, like really smoothly, so you don't collide with them. Also, remember the killer has a bigger hitbox than you. Um, yeah, so always keep an eye on the killer. Is always, always try and uh, look behind yourself so you know the position of the killer. So you can see in this loop here that he can actually catch me, and I can just loop perfectly back on nine degrees. So he finally actually goes to the other side loop and we end up actually on this uh, truck here. And at this point, whichever side the killer basically picks, I can just run on the opposite side and loop safely through the window. And here we'll, he will soon realize this, as you can see right now where he gets a little bit angry. There we go. Right, that was just my basic guide on looping the shack. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if there's something you doubt and I'll, I'll try and answer them as best as I can.